What's happening, YouTube? Back in the day, Gamer here. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, and today I'm coming at you with a Top 3 Tuesday. No, it's not from Michael B. the Game Genie, it's from Nefarious West. Used to be with Stoppo. He's one of my favorite channels to watch for sure. Check his out, does all kinds of good stuff. But anyhow, the topic for this Top 3 Tuesday is Top 3 Sports Games. Now, I've said before, I'm not a sports game guy. Farthest thing from it, I don't even watch sports, period. I've never played any Madden game, ever, but there are still a handful of sports games that I really, really like. First of which would be none other than Tecmo Bowl on the original Nintendo. Now there's not much that needs to be said about this game. It's Tecmo Bowl. Anybody remotely near my age has played it. It was the first ever football game to really be good. You know, the ones before it or and a lot after it really, really sucked. This game was awesome. I always preferred it to Super Tecmo Bowl, probably because it was the one I started playing. But nonetheless, there's my third pick for this Top 3 Tuesday. Now the next choice is one of the games that Wes picked. And that is Baseball Stars. Not to be confused with Baseball Stars 2, because this game is total crap. I don't know how they could take this game and follow it up with that one. But anyhow, Baseball Stars for the Nintendo is not only my favorite baseball game, but it is one of my favorite games to play. Now, West already chose that. So, for the sake of variety, I'm going to go with my next favorite baseball game, RBI Baseball 94. For the Sega Genesis. Now, I have never played the Dusty Diamonds baseball game for Nintendo, which is supposed to be great, but I really like this one. Now, I recently picked this one up and hadn't had it until now, you know, so I'm about 23 years late on picking this guy up, but it's really fun. Easy pickup and playability. It's got nice graphics all kinds of stuff you know it's licensed so it's got the stats and the players names and teams and all that jazz but it's a good time definitely check that game out and if you look real close here now i paid 3.99 for it but it was on sale at toys r us for 54.99 so 3.99 that's i got a steal on that one <laughs> now my number one favorite sports game of all time Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Not only is it my great favorite sports games of all time, but it is one of my favorite games of all time. Not to be confused with the Mike Tyson's Power Punch, which is total crap and far worse than Baseball Stars 2. But since Wastapo already picked that, I'm going to go with my number one pick as Super Punch-Out for the Super Nintendo. Ball, ball. Now this game is totally kick-ass you know despite mike tyson's punch out being one of my or favorite game of all times i never had super punch out back in the day it's tons of fun the controls are great the graphics are great all kinds of things like crowd detail the sprites are large uh it's great how lomac is translucent um you can brawl a lot better than you could in the original punch out game which i should say Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, because I do not recognize Punch-Out as a game. There's only Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. But anyhow, you know, you can really brawl in this one. It's a lot more fun. You don't have your uh, heart meter where you run out of punches. You can just keep throwing. Keep throwing until somebody gets knocked out. It's great how they brought a lot of the characters back. You know, you got Bald Bull, Sandman, Super Macho Man, and there's tons of other new characters for this game wide variety from right hillbilly canadians not that canadians are hillbillies i'm not saying that bear but bear huggers hug. from canada you got wicked clowns all kinds of weird stuff so there's lots of other neat little things on this you know max right-handed so he leads with his left you know so when you throw a left jab they're faster you know if you if you can get three left hand punches in you can only get two right hand punches because the timing and you know like kind of make it a little bit like real boxing 
there's three things this game is missing to me. One, obviously, Mike Tyson. Two, Soda Popinski. He's like my favorite character, I think. And three, I don't know how they could leave this out. A little training scene with Mac and the coach chasing behind him on the bike. How'd they leave that out? But anyhow, this game is all around great. If I was pressed to say, I mean, it actually is probably a little more fun than Mike Tyson. You know, like I said, because you can brawl more and it's definitely easier. But it doesn't top it. I chose to feature this one because Wes already did Mike Tyson. And obviously it's his video. So he gets honors. So, there's my top three picks for this Top 3 Tuesday response video. I want to say thanks to Wistapo. I love these Top 3 Tuesdays. I miss Michael B. doing them. I know Michael B. wasn't the originator, but I had a lot of fun with that. And keep in mind, I did see, like last week, the old-ass retro gamer made a post that he is going to start bringing back Top 3 Tuesdays. So you probably see a lot more of these videos. Join in the fun. The more the merrier, right guys? So I hope you like this video. And like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Until next time, keep it retro!